Hello everybody and welcome to my new video again. I hope you guys are doing very well. So in this lecture we will do something a bit different as what we have done till earlier lectures. So in this examples we again have a square root and it in involves x square plus uh, some constant terms. But it is not exactly uh, the pattern as what we have did till earlier, right? Here we have a plus symbol, yeah? So, and uh, this expression, so if we want to write down the pattern in general, it, it looks like this, yeah? A square plus x square, right? This pattern looks exactly like this. So, what to do? We say it's something like a, a squared plus x squared, okay? And this it uh, and this expression requires a slightly different technique, yeah, and a different identity. So here, what we are going to do, we will take x equals a tangent phi, phi okay? We will take x equal to a tangent of phi, where we also need to restrict the range of phi. So uh, we will come to that part later. So x equals a tangent of phi and here we have a equals a square equals 4. Therefore our a is 2 here. Yeah. So let substitute this and let's see x square equals 2 of tangent of phi square squaring we have 4 tangent of phi tangent square of phi now x square plus 4 let's see what this gives us 4 of tangent square phi plus 4 So, 4 tangent square phi plus 1, yeah? Now, see, we have, we have to use some different identity here, as I mentioned earlier. So, we know from elementary trigonometric formula that second square phi minus tangent square phi equals 1 yeah this implies second square phi equals 1 plus tangent square of phi yeah so see 1 plus tangent square phi this equals second square phi yeah so let's just substitute it here 4 of second square phi now comes the part of we have to take the square root and we also have to determine the range of phi. Yeah, this gives 4 of second square phi. Yeah, square root. So this equals 2 of twice second phi. Now we have to determine the range of phi. So we have to choose phi in such a way so that this because this term is a it is a positive term right this term is a it is a positive term it cannot be negative so we need to choose phi we need to restrict the range of phi in such a way so that these terms also remain positive yeah so how to do this well we know that uh, secant of phi is nothing but inverse of cosine of phi, yes? So, if cosine, so when cosine of phi is positive, secant of phi is also positive. And we know that if phi restricted in this range, then cosine of phi is positive. So we will restrict our phi in this range, yeah, from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. 
so and you have to mention this here when we are using this substitution that our phi is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 yes please let me know in the comment section if you have any problem to understanding this uh, this thing yeah i will help you to i will help you to understand this so now let's see we will we will try with this so what we have in our hand now we have x equals uh, 2 tan x equals 2 twice of tangent of phi and uh, the square root we have this twice of second of phi right so we have x equals where phi is varying from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and uh, now we have to take care of this differential part right this differential part so we have x equals we have x equals twice of tangent of phi dx what is the differential of tan tangent of phi this equals twice of second square of phi yeah differential of tangent of phi is second square phi so we obtain this thing so now collecting all this data we have the integral i if we substitute this in the equation one what we obtain we obtain i equals one moment we have dx in the numerator so dx is twice of second square phi d phi by twice tangent of phi square multiplied by twice of second phi right simplifying we have twice of second square phi by 4 of tangent square phi multiplied by twice of second phi right now see we have one second phi in the denominator and second square phi in the numerator so one will get cancel out right and we have two so this will also get cancel out so what will remain what will remain we have second phi in the numerator and uh, four tangent square phi in the denominator right yeah so we, we have this so we have this one quarter of let me write it in the next slide we have this one quarter of second phi over tangent square phi right yeah i just pulled out this one by four outside the integral so we have second phi over tangent square phi now what to do with this how to proceed from here well we need to further reduce this integral because because we do not have any formula for this we need to further re reduce this okay so what we will do we will transfer this into the no into our known form in the sense that as i mentioned earlier second of phi is 1 by cosine of phi yeah and tan phi this equals sine of phi over cosine of phi yeah so let substitute this here let's see 1 by 4 we have let's we can write this terms in this way second of phi multiplied by engine yeah so one quarter now second of phi this equals 1 by cosine of phi multiplied by 
tangent square phi now tangent square phi is sine square phi so and this cosine phi will go to the numerator so this equals cosine square phi d phi yeah okay now we have this one uh, we have one cosine phi in the denominator and cosine square phi in the numerator so these terms will get cancel only one cosine phi will remain in the numerator cosine phi by sine square phi okay so we have reduced this in sine and cosine form okay now what we will do we will do a trick here what tricks we will follow we obtain this thing yeah now in order to simplify this we need to do another substitution yeah we have to follow another uh, we have we have to follow another substitution so what we will do let's take u equals sin of phi we are doing another substitution second substitution you can say sometimes you, ha you have to follow this you have with with one substitution the problem may not be get resolved you need to do further substitution for example in this problem so we take u equal sine phi why we take u equal to sine phi because we know du equals cosine of phi d phi so with this substitution what we obtain here we obtain 1 by 4 cosine phi d phi this equals du and we choose sine phi equals u so this will be u square tada now we know how to solve this yeah we have a formula for this what is the formula this is 1 by 4 this is 1 by u plus c yeah so the integral transform into 1 by 4u plus c this is the this is the answer for this thing but wait the problem is not solved yet we need to like our other uh, like our other lectures we need to return back to our original variable right what was our original variable our original variable was in x yeah or our original variable is in x so and here we have twice time substitution so we need to transform u into sin phi we need to transform u into the function of phi and then from phi we need to go back to x okay but from u to phi it is trivial yeah because we know u equals sin phi so we can say we let's just put the value and and we obtain so we, so what we obtain i equals 1 by 4u plus c and our u equals sin phi so this equals 4 sin phi plus c yeah yeah it is trivial we just substitute the value of u here now now this part is now from sin phi to x we have to return from sin phi to the function of x this part is a bit harder and we will proceed in the same way so for this We need to bring a triangle into the picture yeah so here we have this right angle triangle and this right angle triangle will always based on the substitution what we have on the definition of, of our original substitution so what was our original substitution we have x equals twice of tangent phi yeah so let's take this as phi so our original rule x equals twice of tangent of phi and uh, this uh, so we will uh, choose x and 2 in such a way so that tangent of phi remains x over 2 so for this we need to take this as x and this as 2 okay so we obtain tangent of phi in this in triangle abc we have 
in triangle ABC, we have tangent of phi equals x over 2. Okay. So, and we have this hypotenuse AB. This equals x square plus 4. Okay. Therefore, what we obtain? Sin phi here. We obtain from here sin phi equals x over square root of x square plus 4. Yeah. See how this triangle rule simplify this the whole game. So now we just need to su substitute this here. Okay. We just need to substitute this here. So what we have? We have i equals minus of 1 over 4 sin phi plus c. So if you are substituting this, then what we are obtaining? We are obtaining square root of x square plus 4 minus of 4x plus c. Hmm? Therefore, yay, we obtain our final answer, which is in the variable of x. Yes, I hope this part is clear, right? So what we did, we transfer from u to phi and then from phi to the original variable x. Okay, so let me know if you have any doubts and problems to understand these examples in the comment section right below. Okay, I will try my best to solve your queries. And yes, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and also do share with your brothers, sisters and friends. Till then, bye. See you.